You haven't let me down. I have. You know how much I think of him. And so do I. Do you? It was a mistake, Jack. Well, I was never a saint. Neither was Vera coming at that, though she might have you believe different. <laughs> hey, well, we needn't speak ill of the dead. I'm not speaking ill of a lot. You stuck together, though, didn't you? I know he's soft, he's daft, he's a few rungs short of a ladder sometimes, but he is the very best of men, he's my time on. I know he is. Better than anything I could spawn. Well, he's um, got the duck with Jean one way or another. How's he heck? He'd never do what I did, what Terry did. What you've done. It was over a long, long time ago, and it was stupid. Do you know, I can barely look Sally in the eye. Jack, please. One thing we managed, me and Alvira, despite everything. Despite a run of bad luck lasting 40 flaming years. <sighs> was we cared about each other. I care about Tyrone. Well, then move away from me, and I don't care if it's old or Ontario. I really do love him, Jack. You see, I want you both to be happy. And if he doesn't make you happy, if you've got the slightest doubt, then you must tell him the truth and let him live a life worth living. It won't come to that. Baby Jack is Kevin, and I'm so angry I could... <coughs> I know. You will do the right thing, though. You promise me that. I promise. Oh, come here. It's a rotten world, Mole. Excuse me. Are we done? Yeah. Uh, you didn't see where my friend went, did you? I'm still a nervous wreck. Yeah, but you wait till you've got a stranger prowling around your backyard, then we'll see who's nervous. It's affecting my work. Me too. You're taking bets off the unemployed. I'm in charge of people's futures. I made a howler the other day. Got hauled in by the head. What, physically? Oh, you mean the headmaster. What for? Snapping at a teaching assistant during a staff meeting over a bowl of crisps. You haven't told anyone about the letters, though. All I can hear is my heart thumping. Unless it's his, I can hear. Edgar Allan Poe. I've had the same thing. Let's talk inside. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Shameful? Yeah, don't worry about the language. Yeah, but unnatural, though. Come on, you can't get away with that these days. Exactly. It's well out of date. Of course it is, I know. But what Paul is talking about, in a more general sense, is sin. When people abandon God in greed or in anger, in deceit. So it's up there with deceit, our relationship. Look, these are impulses most of us are guilty of countless times a day. But we haven't abandoned God. I know, feelings aren't condemned. The trick is not to act on them. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our own desires to honour him. Look, I might be a funny hero out, but if you heard yourself... <laughs> what, do I sound stuffy? It's a modern world, I know that. And I know that some people choose to live this way. You see, I thought that it was all equal, but I must, I must have misunderstood that. God puts temptation in our way to test us, to make us prove our love for him. Well, um, I don't think you're as modern as you think you are. Chan. No! It's all good and well when he's got us rocking out to shackles. Chan! Look, I know this is difficult, but the church isn't rejecting you. It isn't. Look, things have moved on, OK? God got it wrong and he'd be the first one to admit it. I have wondered what people say about me behind my back. Uh, he'll be out right day and night. That's the best he can manage. Good luck to him. Well, he's not getting any action, then. He's not stupid. He has something going on, is he, now? Are you kidding? Well, why'd you say it like that? No, I mean, it's just a decent bit of stuff. Yeah, he's laughing a minute. Almost there now, Captain. I'm back in the morning. Well, we're here now. You'd only be paying us again. I said come back in the morning. Any need for the temper? Let's go. That's for Betty. 
Oh, have you got him down? Oh, yeah, yeah. One verse a little donkey was well gone. Which is look at because I don't want the second verse. <laughs> I could do with you at bedtime. Hey, now you we spoken for. <laughs> well, I'm suffering terribly at the moment. Well, what pills are you taking? Oh, I've tried everything. Oh. Pills that make it worse, don't you find? <laughs> and there's more pressure on yourself, isn't there, once yeah. you're taking something? Hey, you know the best cure is for insomnia? I could die sleep. <laughs> 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 if maybe I could do the rounds, eh? The sleep doctor. Oh, no, no. The sleep whisperer. He'll scare witches out of him, titular out of bedrooms. <laughs> I usually have the most marvellous preventative medicine, you see. I half an hour with Norris and I'm exhausted. <laughs> so, what's he in, Ty? Rose's basket. No, no, I've just thrown him on the sofa, but he'd be reek. Yeah, that's my godson you're making jokes about. Only having a laugh, Kev. Yeah, what well, kids need looking after. I used to watch my girls like Hawk than herself. Could you keep it down just a smidgen? Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, I believe from Kevin you. Webster, like Peter used to get. Ashley just gets soppy. What sort of a drunk with Vera? Amorous, Audrey, very amorous. <laughs> I'm just the opposite. I just want to go to sleep. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin like this. Doesn't take much for these youngsters, does he? When I think when I used to put away, I spilt more than he could sup. Kevin. Sorry, Sean, you got a dustpan and brush and I'll sweep up for I'll you. I'll clear it up, Sean. No, 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 we don't want a lawsuit on our hands. Tell it. Do you think he's had enough? I'm trying. Hey, Jack Duckworth, let me buy you a big fat cigar. No, I'm OK, Kevin. Oh, come on, mate. Me and you, eh, spoke a couple of stogies talking about the good old days. I said no thanks very much. All right, keep your hair on. Kevin, come on, you're making a show of yourself. Woo! Anyone fancy curry? I do. Now, come on, let's go. Curry? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, hello, I'm Mrs. I'm just coming looking for you. Oh, I've just been to have my uh, wedding dress fitted. Oh, no joy. Hey, mm. evening, ladies. Yeah, um, what's that? Oh, it's with Deirdre. I'm going to get him in a bit. I said I'd pop in the Rovers, you know, wish Jack a happy birthday. Oh, right. Is it his birthday? No, I just thought I'd say it to him. Right. I'll, uh, just dump these. I'll catch up in a bit. See All you. right. Oh, uh, I've left me fags in the shop. Just, just hang on a minute. One minute. Oh, I'll just stand here like a lemon then, shall I? Well, mix it up a bit. Stand there like a lime then. Somebody saw what we did. Well, why didn't they do anything at the time? Why didn't they call the police? I don't know. What's the use of flowers and funny phone calls? Blackmail. But no one's asking for anything. Well, somebody's getting something out of it. Like what? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm sorry. We can't let them win. Right now, I'd settle for a draw. That's what I love about you. You always retain that stapian wit, even in times of distress. Can't crack up now. We won't crack up. We've got each other. Charlotte. One kiss. I'm sorry if I give the wrong impression. Not asking for the world. It's all right for you. You've got fizz to keep you warm. Try sleeping in my bed. It's cold and lonely and I'm paralysed with fear. Begrudging me one little kiss. Oh, 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 oh girls. Oh, oh, Celebration, is it? Oh, all right. Jack Duckworth, one of our regulars. Ah, free bar then. Nice try. Christopher. No, I'll get this. Oh, no, I'll get the old man a drink, will you? I don't even know him. Well, oh, sure. Hmm? Someone wants his daddy. Oh, is he awake? Yeah. Come here then, my little <laughs> prince. Hello. Fluff <laughs> <Hello. laughs> a complete failure to... I don't know. Communicate? Exactly. Communication's the most important thing in a marriage. Every conversation we have just turns into an argument. Whatever I'm doing is yipping up, yapping down my ears. What's the mean trick you played on her, though? And Jana Gay, I know it was. But I've apologised. I only did it for a bit of respite. Do you know what Len did once to get out of an ear bashing? He played dead. Well, that was even meaner. Did it work? Oh, it frightened the living daylights out of me, I can tell you that much. But when I realised he wasn't dead, I was that relieved the argument was forgotten. It's funny, isn't it, the things that we do. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, is Jack going? 
Yeah, as quietly as they can. It's a bit of a fuss, really, isn't it, for 74? I mean, 75, yeah, I can understand, but 74? That's what Deirdre said. Hey, ah, here he is. Hey. Happy birthday, Jack. Oh, thank you, Peter. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, many happy returns. Say it with a kiss, darling. <laughs> go on, then. <laughs> hey, you've still got it. <laughs> we never lose it. <laughs> By gum, that's one hell of a woman you've got there, Peter. Oh, no, no, she's not mine, Jack. Hey, Leanne, you remember? Oh, of, co of course, of course, of course. Of course. How did we go on at Carlisle? Oh, you'll have to pop in tomorrow, I can't remember. Anyway, what are you having? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm full of... You carry on, carry on. All right, anyway, Hi. all the best. And you, Peter, and you. Hi. Hey. Hi. Big 7-4. Aye, aye. You don't have to stand there, you know, breathing in this junk. You trying to get rid of me? No, no, just saying. What, are you having for your first dance? Ah, oh, well, we're divided on that one. Lee wants Angels by Robbie Williams. Oh, bit obvious, isn't it? But I'm gunning for Sinatra, you know, someone with a bit of swagger. Fly me to the moon. I once had a mate in the Navy who did it to a birdie song. Made everybody join in. Oh, some people. <laughs> Fly me to the moon, though. Now there's a song. So I stand outside. I did for a while, but you were taking ages. What were you doing in there? You know, Peter, I could expect this of, but not you. Are you really so impatient? Sorry. I had to slink out, mumbling excuses to the woman. It's just the sight of you in that dress. What about it? Don't marry him, Leanne. Nick. All I could think of is I want to see that on my wedding day, not Peter Barlow's. Right, so we're back to that, are we? Oh, jealousy doesn't even come close are to... Are they not finished out there? Oh, yeah, and they said there's not going to be enough to do. Leanne. What are you doing to me, Nick? I didn't plan this. What on earth are you doing to me? Well, I mean, I didn't expect him to be over the moon. I wasn't expecting that. Where's the support? Where's the compassion? We're not thick. We know it isn't wrong or against God's wishes. Well, he wasn't making it up, Shad. He was reading it from the Bible. Oh. So do you think God doesn't want us? Oh, I don't know. I think God wants everyone. Mm, even the shameful, unnatural perverts inflamed with lust and immoral desires. Chad, it's not a joke, isn't it? I'm struggling to take it all seriously. Chad, I was stunned by that rubbish and I don't like the way it's got to you. Yeah, well, it has, OK. We're not going back there, so. We're not even welcome. Right, so... What's next? What a big turnout, isn't it? I found this popular on a main chain. You're not this popular now. <laughs> Your group is in Which one's his missus? Well, that's his fancy piece over there. His wife Vera died a few years back. All right, what would you prefer? Another wife or a fancy piece? It's all right, Owen. I'm not listening. Yeah, I don't know, Chris. Uh, it's not the type of question I concern myself with. Oh, really? I, I, I'm slipping off now. Norris is cooking and I don't want to make him late. <laughs> In that case, I'd stay and have another drink. <laughs> I think I'd better be making a move as well. Oh, well, can yeah. I just thank you on behalf of Jack? Big Jack, that is. He's, oh. he's had a fantastic afternoon, hasn't he? Yeah. Although I think he'd had his fill and, well, he's, he's not one for good buys. He snuck off for a smoke. <laughs> Thinks he's all daft. <laughs> well, if he has, I suppose he's entitled. Yeah. Suppose he is, yeah, but you know what? You know, we've not stung for it. 
<laughs> but he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. I hope Claire and Ashley sort out their differences. Audrey, I know Deirdre said this more than once, but she really is very sorry about what happened. She did me a favour, Cam. Life is so much simpler on your own. Hey, Dad, look at us two playing the field, eh? Hey, no fun, Bart. It's only because Deirdre's babysitting. <laughs> and so now here, all winners but I miss you most of all, my darling. But autumn leaves start to fall. It's not like you. I know you're uncouth, uncouth, but honestly. I'm all right. Where's our sofa? Got a couple of ready meals in the freezer. What? Curries. Yeah, sticking with the spirit of the evening. Hey, they should have served us, you know. I'm going to go back there somewhere and complain. You're not going anywhere near it. I had the menu in my hand. I knew what I wanted. You were singing. I was humming. <sighs> Do, I don't know what's got into you tonight. I'm enjoying myself, I told you. Yeah, well, you've embarrassed yourself, you've embarrassed me, you embarrassed Jack Duckworth on his birthday. Oh, oh go off it, woman. It'll take more than a, a drunkard in a curry house to make Jack Duckworth blood. You actually admire him. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right, Jack. Is that what you aspire to be? Oh, be quiet. I want to sleep. So we're putting these curries in, or not? You know what I fancy eating? Chris. Oh. Oh, my. I'm tired of you. Well, put your paper down and come with me. It'd be all right if I stopped here. Look at the state of that car. Is it too much effort to go and look in the mirror? Are you waiting for me, my swan dog? Of course I'm waiting for you. There's a bus at 12 minutes past, so come on, shift yourself. Oh, oh, oh give us up a chance. Never mind that. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll fire, I'll fire. Hey? While the music's playing. What are you on about? Come oh. here. When did you go soft? Give you three guesses. Oh. 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 As I leave you there. As I leave you there. As I leave. All the best now. Oh, thanks, Rita. All the best. Oh, and Sean, thank Liz again for them drinks. Will do. I'm going to bob back with you, Tyrone. Say bye bye to him. Yeah, of course. If he's there, that is. He couldn't have made it round to flying horse on his own, could he? Yeah, I thought that. I doubt it. He'll be fast asleep in that chair. You wait and see. Yeah, okay, bye now. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 Cheers. Thanks. Bye. 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 Cheers. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. Another birthday comes, another birthday comes. But didn't you think it was odd, Rita? I mean, a gathering like this just for 74? They're all an achievement, if you ask me. <sighs> right, well, better go and get me boy. God knows what's happened to Leanne. Bye, love. Pity, Bye. I was enjoying myself. Hey, has, uh, has anyone seen the Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh. Shall I resign? Just leave you to it? Tell Peter what? The truth. I lie, my kneecaps. Well, I'll lie then. Say that it wasn't working out, that we were arguing over the colour of the napkins. Well, this place means everything to you. Don't be so romantic, Nick. It's bricks and mortar and bar snacks. Peter and Simon are everything to me. But you don't want to leave, do you? No, of course I don't. Then what do you suggest? I suggest you act like a man. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on. We're opening this bar in good faith. We knew what we were getting into. And I still want to make a success of it. But I am not calling off my wedding, Nick. You had your chance. Oh, rub my nose into it, why don't you? Well, I've been around the block since then, and what I've got, it might not be a fairy tale, but it's good. Just good. If there was no such thing as Peter Barlow, then things might be different. But that's all ifs and buts. And I am madly, madly in love with him. Okay. 
Hey, you're loud and clear. Right. Well, I'll see you in the morning then, Mr. Tilsley. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning, Miss Battersby. <laughs> oh, he's here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Just thought you'd wandered off into it tonight. Well, it's a flying arse, any road. Bookies were shut, you see. It's been right off the flying arse, anyway, has been for years. I'll put these cards up here for you, mate. Might have to put some string up like at Christmas. I've never seen so many cards. Tyrone, love. What's the matter? Connie? Connie? Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Telephone a doctor, uh, phone an ambulance. I'll, I'll do that. Has, has he gone? Oh, I'm so sorry, Tyrone. <laughs> should I put him upstairs? Good night, Doc.